Hi, I'm Vanessa from SpeakEnglishWithVanessa.com. Bear, pear, big, pig, help. What's the difference? Let's talk about it. In today's pronunciation lesson, we're going to talk about two sounds that are challenging for a lot of English learners. They are B and P, big and pig, bear and pear, bride and pride. Let's start by talking about one of those sounds and then the second, and then let's combine them for a challenge. Let's start by talking about the B, B sound. This sentence is not so nice, but it's a good way to remember how to pronounce b, b. I'm gonna say this sentence and it uses three B words. The bride looks like a big bear. <laughs> Hopefully you don't tell the bride this. The bride is the woman who's gonna get married. <laughs> don't tell a bride that she looks like a big bear. Trust me, you'll regret it. <laughs> So, you should say b, the bride. Notice that when I say bride, big, bear, my lips are coming together, b, b, but there's a little hole here and a lot of vibration is coming out. B, b. I'll use a piece of paper to show you the air that's coming out. B, b. I hope that for you, you can also do this with a piece of paper. I recommend imitating my sounds. Bride, big, bear. And then let's talk about the next sound because the next sound is going to be quite different. Big, boo. There's a lot of vibration. Put your hand here. Boo, boo. It kind of tickles. The bride looks like a big bear. Lots of vibration. What about our second sentence using the other challenge sound? In the second sound, P, we're not going to be really using any vibration. It's just going to be air, pride, pear. The paper is still moving, but it's not because of a vibration. That's what we used for bride, big. But what about P, P? You can imagine a puff of air, P. P, pig. Let's talk about a sentence that uses a couple P words. It's another kind of crazy sentence. It is, pigs who eat pears have pride. <laughs> pride is when you're proud of yourself. You're happy. You're glad that you're did, you did something. You have pride. Pride. Not bride, the first sound with a B. This is with a P. So what your mouth is going to be doing, look closely when I say pigs who eat pears have pride. My mouth is in the same position as a bee, but this time there's only air. We're not feeling those vibrations from the sound coming out. This is just air. Let's say it one more time and have that air puffing out of our mouths. Are you ready? Let's use a piece of paper to see the air coming out. Pigs who eat pears have pride. Pigs, pears, pride. P, p. Let's talk about a challenge sentence. Are you ready to combine these? I want you to write down this challenge sentence and test yourself. See if you can get it correct. Write it down on a piece of paper. Write it down in the comments. And then at the end, I'll let you know the correct answer. The sentence is, don't give the bride to the pride. Don't give the bride to the pride. Here we're using another version of the word pride. We're not using pride as the earlier version. You're proud, you're happy, you're glad that you did something. Pride in this sentence is talking about a group of lions. We have different words in English for groups of animals and a group of lions is called a pride. So, do you know what order this sentence goes in? Does it start with a P? Does it finish with a B? How can we write this correctly and how can you pronounce it correctly? Let me say this one more time. Don't give the bride to the pride. 
Don't give the bride to the pride. If you do that, something terrible will happen. So make sure that you say this sentence correctly so that everyone can understand you. Don't give the bride to the pride. Don't give the bride to the pride. What did you write down for your sample, your test sentence? Did you say that first? Don't give the bride. There's some vibration happening. Don't give the bride to the pride. Pride. Only air. Who? Don't give the woman who's going to be married to the lions. It's not a good idea. Don't give the bride to the pride. I hope that you can say this correctly and also hear it correctly. Let us know in the comments below, how did you do? Did you get this test sentence correct? And thanks so much for learning with me. I'll see you the next time. Bye. The next step is to download my free ebook, Five Steps to Becoming a Confident English Speaker. I want to help you master English and speak fluently. Feel free to subscribe so that you don't miss new English lessons. Thanks so much for learning with me. Bye.